Oh my god, look at the fall on the right. I just realized that. <laughs> the steepness. Oh, I'm feeling giddy already. Don't look there, buddy. Otherwise, you'll land up there. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day three. Today's target is a minimum of Cargill or if I can stretch, I can try to reach Lake. I had to revise this target today because of the rains, continuous rains that I have been facing for the past two days. Yesterday from Patni Top to Srinagar, it was raining. The only respite that I got was in the evening when I entered Srinagar when the rain stopped and the weather became uh, very pleasant for riding. Uh, right now, when I woke up in the morning, I saw it's raining in Srinagar. It's a very strong drizzle that is happening here. So I am really having my doubts of whether I can uh, start off in this rain or not. So meanwhile, I'll show you the place that I am staying in. Firoz brought me to this place called the City Hotel and it's quite a good place. So I am paying just about six, seven hundred rupees for this room here just because of the fact that it is off the main road. So the prices here are very very cheap compared to the hotels which are directly on the main road come let me show you my room so here is my room as you can see it's a big room for one person and i managed to get this great bargain thanks to Firoz. so if you look at my room the state of my room everything is you know spread up randomly charging going on there laptop here back saddle bag the helmet opened up i had to open up the lining for the helmet so that i can dry it out because all the rain had seeped in through the vents of the helmet and all the lining got wet so i also got a heater which i used to dry up all the thermals which were there in my saddle bags through which the water stepped in again right next to the bed is the windows you see the dull lake so my motorcycle is parked outside it's not under a shade and i'll have to go and put on all the luggage in this downpour so guys let me tell you how difficult it is to ride in rain for me at least so what i'm wearing right now is first of all i'm wearing a lower uh, sort of a waterproof lower then i am wearing my riding pants I'm not sure if you can see that. On top of that, I'm wearing a rain liner. If that is not enough, I will be wearing my heavy riding shoes. And on top of these shoes, guess what? I will be wearing these sort of waterproof shoe covers from Royal Enfield. That in itself is a lot of weight to carry. To top it all, a riding jacket along with a rain liner for the riding jacket. <laughs> and of course the heavy sole 3, 3 kg helmet on my head. So finally on the riding jacket I am wearing this rain liner. That's it. So that's how you get ready to ride to Ladakh in rain and in chilly weather. I hope you can understand what sort of effort it takes. Come on, Saridhar. Come with me. Let's take our photo. Okay. अब हम चलते हैं चलो सर टेक केयर बाय 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 जी थैंक यू धन्यवाद आपका थैंक यू हां जी ओके बाय बाय फिरोज भाई से तो मिलके मजा ही आ गया और अब टाइम है स्टार्ट करने का फ्रॉम श्रीनगर 
थोड़ा वेदर भी ठीक हो गया है बारिश इज अ लिटल अंडर कंट्रोल ड्रिजलिंग हो रही है नॉट अ हैवी रेन डैट वॉज हैपनिंग अबाउट एन आर एगो दैट द व्यू ऑफ द डल लेक फॉर यू लास्ट व्यू ऑफ दिस जर्नी ऑफ माइन इट्स लुकिंग ब्यूटिफुल क्या जगह है यार श्रीनगर बाई गॉड क्रेज आई हैव नॉट बीन इन टू एनी डिफिकल्ट सर्कम स्टैंड हेयर बट जो सुंदरता है इस जगह की यू हैव टू कम हेयर टू विटनेस दिस so i don't know what's this all about lot of people have gathered here and you know such situations in srinagar can become a boiling point but doesn't seem to be something very uh, something of a violent nature because you see this haryana car passing through and i hope i can also pass through the greens are looking so saturated and vibrant editing terminology <laughs> what a beautiful view this is the place <laughs> to die for amazing thousand <laughs> kilometers for my ride well done boy so i'm standing next to this breathtaking view of the jhelum river and this river is you know an angry river lot of water gushing through and the sound of water is so satisfying to hear and it's getting cold as i progress towards sonmarg my hands are starting to freeze up and i don't know what's going to happen in dras and kargil god save me but need to ride on let's go so finally i am in sonmarg and i came here in 2011 7 years from my last visit lovely view lovely view of this mountains and snow finally i just love seeing the snow when i come to the mountains it becomes an incomplete visit if you come to the mountains and don't get to see any snow one of my friends is in le and he is saying that in le there is bright sunshine when will the sunshine come i am just waiting for it i just want to pass this patch of rain which has got a little heavy for my liking because when you stop to eat something and you have to resume and it's raining uh, a little heavily becomes difficult to start again start the journey again basically but when you are on the motorcycle you can keep on riding on and <laughs> dreaming on 345 kargil 119 are getting tricky <laughs> to say the least <laughs> and i am just loving it as it is getting difficult i am just it's bringing a smile on my face that is what i always wanted to do sadling 
Oh, slash. <laughs> Keep the throttle constant, man. Otherwise, you will slip. <laughs> the Kawasaki verse says, this is why I bought it. And it's doing things the right way till now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't fall, baby. Don't fall. This is heavy slush. Go slow, go slow. Keep your weight on the back. <laughs> Whatever you have learned by seeing videos, you need to practice it here. <laughs> because it's very important to keep weight on the back rear wheel of your motorcycle that's what i have learned i don't know how far i'm able to implement it because this thing is getting crazy <laughs> that stream of chocolate brown water coming through oh now i have to engine brake is it sare tutorials aaj kaam aane chahiye pure because if I apply the brake here, I'm gonna go sliding away. Ja, bhai, ja. <laughs> Look at the color change. It's light brown here and it's lush green down. And then at the bottom of the valley is the Amarnath Yatra. <laughs> Starting point, the village called Baltal. Go slow, baby, go slow. Go slow, wait, wait for him to pass and yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss the clouds. Climb is getting steeper with every turn, and it's getting colder and colder. Ah, my shoulder is paining after riding for three consecutive days, and this is the most challenging bit till now. I hope my tires don't give up here. <laughs> I can't repair a puncture at this point, guys. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Ding, ding. Easily saddling along. I don't know whether this place is called Zozilla or what, but this is challenging enough for me <laughs> and I'm loving it. Oh my god, look at the fall on the right. I just realized that. <laughs> the steepness. Oh, I'm feeling giddy already. Don't look there, buddy. Otherwise, you'll land up there. And as they say, just look at the point where I where you intend to go. Your sight should be at your destination, the target where you want to reach, just beyond the water crossing, just beyond the slush, and just beyond the rough patches that you encounter. If you look down, baby, you're gonna surely end up there because it's very high, <laughs> very, very high. क्या आगे रास्ता ऐसा ही है पूरा कहाँ तक अभी जोजिला नहीं चालू हुआ अच्छा ये जोजिला नहीं है हाँ ओके हाँ ये वाटर प्रूफ है पूरा ठंडे हो गए हाथ हाँ आगे सर्दी और है क्या रोड देख यार सामने <laughs> ये किसके बीच में से जा रहे हो डोंट नो वॉट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट देर इज 
I believe the Indus River flowing and that, that is again Baltal. So if you see all those roads right from there, everything coming up to here. That's the jam there. And I don't know why we have stopped there. It's raining guys. I'm on a two-wheeler. Taras kalo thoda yaar. Hi guys, welcome to the zero point. It's freezing cold here. As you can see, all the snow there, all the glacier in its glory. My ride from Zozila Pass, uh, as you have seen in the video, it was quite enjoyable. I was able to cross all the puddles and all the slush uh, very easily. And it was great to uh, traverse that terrain. It was a tough terrain and I really enjoyed it. So the situation here is it's uh, minus one right now and I'll be traveling to Thras and Kargil. So the only way out right now is to take the warmth from this fire. And my hands are freezing cold right now. The GoPro mount has again uh, broken off. I don't know what has happened to the sort of a uh, double-sided tape that I bought from Srinagar yesterday. It's simply not sticking to my helmet. So till now I could vlog with the action camera. But now I don't think I'll be able to block the rain. Water is seeping between the mount and the helmet. And that is actually uh, preventing it from sticking it to the helmet. So I'll have to make a do without showing you footage of the ride. I'll try to get it fixed as soon as possible. Possibly when the rains stop, then something can work out for me. What a beautiful place, yaar. Look at how the terrain has changed from the green mountains of Zozila to these barren mountains of Kargil. And it's hard to believe that these mountains are covered with snow. These barren brown mountains covered with snow. I really can't believe this. This seems like a desert, but it has its own beauty. Amazing creation. I can hold a grass at Okay, I'll get over it. I'll be again in a summer. I'll see you all. 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 I'll see you all